Welcome to Ash Wrestling Report. Just, just to sweet. Hey guys, I'm your host Ash, and I am here for a special edition of Ash Wrestling Report. In this episode, we will cover the predictions of Royal Rumble that's going to take place Sunday. With only three days away from the Royal Rumble. Things are looking really good. I mean, for the first time ever, we'll have the 30 women Royal Rumble, and we've got some great matches coming. So, without further ado, let's run down the match card one by one, and I'll give you the predictions and analysis. So, we start with SmackDown Tag Team Championship. The match is between. The, the Usos versus Chad Gable and Shelton Benjamin. I think Gable and Benjamin are gonna win this time because they've earned this title shot, and there's no point in pushing them so high if they're just gonna job to Usos. So Gable and Benjamin are gonna win this one. Next, we have the Raw Tag Team Titles. The champions are the Bar. And uh, the challengers are Shame, uh, Jason Jordan and Seth Rollins. Now, under ordinary conditions, Rollins and Jordan would win it. But I think Jordan's gonna do something crazy here. And it's gonna cost them the Raw Tag Team titles. So, the bar will retain the Raw Tag Team titles. That's what I think will happen. Next we have WWE title handicap match that's between AJ Styles versus Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. Now this is a very interesting match because it's got some uh, power politics involved as well. The politics between Daniel Bryan and Shane O'Mac. Anyway, I don't think that will be a factor that will that'll, we'll get to see in this match. So... Or maybe we will get to see that. And so I have an opinion that Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn will end up fighting. And AJ Styles is going to sneak out as champion. So the phenomenal one will retain the WWE Championship. And the Ebb moment will be on fire. It will be torn down. Maybe. Next we have the Universal Title Triple Threat Match, and this match, any child can predict it. We have Braun Strowman vs. Brock Lesnar, the champion, vs. Kane. Now, looking at what's transpired in the past few weeks, it's very easy to predict this one. Braun Strowman, easily. But is WWE gonna go with the champion because Brock Lesnar has been shown as an undefeated champion even though he's a paper champion so if WWE somehow goes with Brock Lesnar then I'd say it's a really bad booking because given the momentum Braun is in he needs to win the title even if that doesn't happen by pinning Brock Lesnar it's it's perfectly fine if he pins Kane and wins the match but Braun Strowman needs to win this match and hopefully Strowman versus Reigns would be a better main event for WrestleMania than Lesnar versus Reigns because we've already seen it once. Nonetheless, it wouldn't be bad because the first time we saw it, it was really good. Next up, we have the 30 Women Royal Rumble match. And this one is a tough uh, I would say this this is the toughest one in the entire card because to assemble 30 women it's a hard thing. I mean, you'll have to bring in a lot of women from NXT too. Like the iconic duo consisting of Peyton Royce and Billy Kay and then you can bring in Candice LeRae and then you can bring in Nikki Cross and uh, all the women from Raw and SmackDown. So... It'll take a lot of women, Shina, Basler, and everyone. One thing I can surely say is that Asuka will not win it because 
They've shown how dominant she is on 25th anniversary of Monday Night Raw by throwing out all her partners. Sasha Banks, Bailey. So, I don't think Asuka will win. What will happen though is Asuka will be eliminated by all the women combined. So, Asuka, goodbye. Uh, so, who do you, who's going to win? Um, could it be Nia Jax? Because she's heavy. Or could it be Tamina, Snuka? Or could it be the boss, Sasha, ba- uh, Sasha Banks? Or could it be Bailey? It's a really hard thing to pick. There's also rumors that Ronda Rousey is going to come in and win the Royal Rumble. That's going to be interesting. But I will go with Nia Jax. And we'll get to see Asuka versus Nia Jax for the women's title because Asuka and Nia Jax were looking really good the last time they encountered. Next up we have the 30-man rumble. The 30-man rumble match is the one that makes us look forward to the Royal Rumble pay-per-view every year. It's just pure excitement. Not just that, it, it brings tons of surprises in store for us every year. Whether it's Coffee Kingston's flip, flips, or the debuts, like debuting movements like AJ Styles. I'm sure, uh, like every year, this year too, we'll get to see a lot of new superstars from NXT emerging into the main roster through the Royal Rumble. And one guy I'm particularly looking forward is Ethan Carter 3, aka EC3, aka Tarek Bateman. Oh yeah, Derek Bateman is back to the WWE, but it's not certain that whether he'll scrap, he'll fight in NXT, or he'll have a direct entry into the main roster like AJ Styles. And we could get even get to see Cashizono because he's a veteran, and he's pretty good. We could also get to see Drew McIntyre. Or maybe that's a bit too premature to say. Then there's Norway Joes. And... Uh, who else? Who else would be returning? Undertaker. Oh yeah. The Undertaker too might be back. I mean, his promo on the 25th anniversary Raw was... Wasn't very suggestive of a retiring old man. I'm sure he'd have one more go. His target could be John Cena because there ain't nobody in the main roster who's as much accomplished as John Cena is. Or it could be even Roman Reigns because Roman has defeated The Undertaker and maybe The Undertaker wants to fair exit the WWE with a win. Either way, it's gonna be one fun fair WrestleMania. But let's now try to predict the winner. I don't think anyone from Raw is winning. So my predictions are either it's Shinsuke Nakamura or Randy Orton again. Yes, because Raw has got Elimination Chamber pay-per-views, so we'll definitely get to see a title defense there. And SmackDown doesn't have anything, so SmackDown, someone from SmackDown winning makes sense. Who else could win it? Could it be Bobby Roode? No, Bobby Roode is just fledging in the roster. It'll take some time to promote him as a main eventer. Next we have choices like... What choice do we have? Could it be EC3? Nah, nah, nah. I think it's too early. Anyway, so... Who, uh... So... It's either Randy Orton or Shinsuke Nakamura who's going to win the Royal Rumble. So that was all we had in the prediction show of Royal Rumble. Thanks for listening, guys. Much love.